Thanks, Amy. So, uh, so yeah, like like Amy said, my name is Jesse. I'm with Eco Firma Farm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? You guys good? Yeah. Yeah. Well? Yeah. Thank you. Need a little encouragement up here. Get nervous every time. So, uh, I want to talk a little bit tonight with about 200 of my closest friends about. Uh, it's hard out there, man. Like, it's hard for all of us. How many of you guys out there are in the cannabis industry right now? Right. So you guys know, every time you open your Facebook page, you look at Twitter, you look at Instagram, and you just see people crushing it. And it's like, oh, am I gonna get there? Am I there? Are they really there? <laughs> That's the question. So, like Amy said, I've spent 22 years in the Marine Corps, 10 years as a professional firefighter. I only say that because I want to establish the fact that I was not born to a trust fund. I did not spend the last two decades of my life earning an MBA and raising funds for venture capitalists and hedge funds. Shit, I don't even know any rich people. Like, that's not my life. I grow weed, I shoot at people, I spray at fire. Like, I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> but, I can tell you one thing for sure in watching where we've gone, in not having an MBA, in not doing venture capital, and I can tell you I definitely do not have a wicked jump shot. Everything that I've done has been from the base up. Everything that we've done at Eco has been from a tiny little grow box in the corner of a room going, I think we could do this bigger. Let's see if we don't get arrested. <laughs> and so, that being said, I want to share a little story. Because I'm sure some of you have seen our advertising, and our size, and our scope, and where we've gotten to. It's what it is. It's advertising. About three years ago, I found myself building. It was time. We're going to get bigger. How do we get bigger? Where do we go? The cannabis industry is coming. I'm analyzing, I'm thinking, I'm sitting awake at two in the morning, looking at RMLS, trying to find the next space. And I look down and I realize, there it is. 20 acres, owner carry contract, water rights, EFU land, not in Portland. No BDS, no ONI. This is great, but I don't have the down payment. Time to go find myself an investment. So, I've never done this before. What the hell? Let's go out and see how it works. So I go out, through happenstance, I find some people, they seem good, I've got a great plan. This is how we're gonna roll. You're gonna loan me the down payment, and I'm gonna give you a good interest rate, because I understand this is cannabis. And I'm gonna point out this property, and it's worth money. And then you're gonna invest in my company for an equity share. And we're gonna agree on a valuation. This seems logical. I've read about this on Google. I know this works. <laughs> so I went ahead and jumped in with these guys. And of course, like a lot of investors, if you guys have talked to them, they know far more about cannabis than they actually know. But they're all there to tell you about what they do know and how you're wrong. So right on, we got our building, they go in and they purchase it, we got a deal going, and then crickets. Hello? Are you guys gonna give me money? Where, where, what, let's get a, oh, I missed that part where we wrote the deal up first. Oops. Okay, so now our investment deal has turned into a lease. And this lease took me a year to negotiate. I went through a vat of Jameson, a carton of cigarettes. I thought I was gonna die by the end of it. It's the most stressful thing I've ever done. I've been shot at. <laughs> So, we get through this lease deal, and okay, I concede, I've worked hard, I've got some exit strategies, I feel like I've got a decent lease, we get the money put in, right on. They're gonna give me some money for the build while we go forward, I fire up it. Granted, keep in mind this has been about a year and a half of owning the building. Fire up construction. We've got a tight timeline. This construction needs to fly so that my rent doesn't increase. We have the contractors going, we're in good shape, everything's flying, I'm feeling good. Hey, it's time for that check that you promised. 
Oh yeah, no, 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 we don't, uh, we don't agree with that. That I think that you're think you're wrong about how that check works. Huh? <laughs> Enter lesson one in contracts. Contracts are only as good as as much money as you have to defend them. <laughs> Surprise! I could be wrong, but if I've got the money, I can tie you up in court and you're screwed. Okay, let's concede. So we concede to some pretty gnarly terms that put us in a worse position, but we forge ahead. We cruise, we're gonna make it. This is all gonna be okay. I can do this. I'm awake all the time, thinking about it, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> so we continue forward. We sign the amendment. We're all good. Time for a check. What do you guys think happened? <laughs> right, no fucking check. <laughs> okay. What do we do now? Oh, I get this game. You want to see if I fail. Because if I fail, you get to take the building back. Oh, it's like a beam of light. I just figured out how I'm getting screwed here. I know. Have a drink, smoke a joint, take a dab. Whatever the fuck you gotta do to relax. Put your head down, go to work. Figure it out. So we go to work, figure it out, find the money, find an angle, scrap, scrimp, save, move forward. Three days ago, we triggered our option on the building and got it purchased. Now we have jumped from one hoop into another hoop, but it's a better hoop. It's got a little more room in it. So we can work, we can expand. Working on getting the big growth set up and going. Feeling better. Tell you this story. And my point to all this is, there are a lot of big companies out there, right? And they all look like they are crushing it. And I'm not gonna take it away, some of them are. Like, there are two or three. <laughs> advertising is advertising for a reason. So stop looking at it. If you're in the cannabis industry, get away from Facebook, get away from Instagram. Stop staring at all of that shit that makes you feel better. Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, all that advertising, it's just that. It's advertising. It's to make the company good for the consumer. If you're a business owner, stop. You're going to drive yourself crazy. I know it drives me crazy. I have a really good friend who told me one time about two and a half years ago when I was on my, one of my random ventings about how I'm falling behind. And I just, everybody's crushing me. What am I gonna do? I'm about to have a panic attack. Please calm me down. And she said to me, eyes on your own paper. <laughs> yeah, I took that to heart. And I took it to heart enough to bring it here and share it with you. And I say it to myself all the time. Eyes on your own paper. Eyes on your own paper. Stop looking at what everybody else is doing. Look what you're doing. Look around this room. Look to your left. Look to your right. Look at everybody standing here. Ask them. Ask them, what did you do? How do I go about this? I'm so happy to share everything I can do to make it successful. The reality is, it ain't that bad. People are not crushing you and sailing past. Your company is not falling into despair. You're good. Work with the couples here. Work with the people here. Work with the companies here. Everybody's happy, would like to think, but a lot of people are happy to answer those questions. All of us want to succeed. We're in Oregon. Oregon grows the best weed in the world. There's a reason, and I've been around the world, you can ask people, and as long as they're not in the cannabis industry, they'll tell you that. When you go to Indiana and you say, Hey, I'm uh, from Colorado. They say, oh, how's the skin? When you say, hey, I'm from Oregon, they say, did you bring any weed? <laughs> that shit's real. So pick your tail up. Pick your head up. Look at the people around you. It is not that bad. And every time that you think it is, and when life hands you that little piece that says you're screwed, you don't know how you're getting out. You are out of money. You are out of rent. You have nowhere to go. You are backed into a corner. Like I said, have a drink. Smoke a joint, take a damn, 
Whatever your thing is, calm the fuck down, wake up in the morning, put your head down, and go to work. Because you'll make 